Hi there, welcome to another video. Haven't been able to get out fishing this weekend, uh, mainly down to the weather, so I thought I'd just show you in detail um, a couple of pike rigs and how how I set them up. So first, I'm going to do the uh, the dead bait float rig. So here's my pike tackle box, and what I'm going to need for this rig is most importantly, or probably most importantly, the uh, a dead bait pencil float. I'll also need uh, a sinker, this is an 18 gram sinker as well as that I'll need a bead, if you can see that and then I'll also need some float stops and of course a trace which uh, which isn't in the tackle box but yeah I'll show yeah, you that Well what I'd usually have is a three pound test curve rod um, just because I'm inside I've just got a the butt end of a spinning rod because um, the, the uh, normal 12 foot rod's way too big for the house and then this is the reel I'd normally use it's a Shimano bait runner and I like the bait runner for the float because you can uh, you don't need a, a bite alarm or anything like that so I've got 15 pound main line on here and these are my float stops so in case you don't know how to put one of these on they're on a uh, looped wire so you have to just open that up. I don't know if you could, probably can't see that, but um, then you put the line through that loop and slide up one of the stops onto the line like that. So next on after the uh, the float stop is my bead. So I'll just slide that onto the line like that. And just push it down so it's uh, against the bead and then I get my float which in this case is a fox dead bait pencil I'll show you how that works in a minute and just slide that on down to the to the bead and the stop and then you get your sinker and slide the line through there there we go that's on okay now I need to get my trace so as I said, next onto the rig is a trace, and this is a twin treble trace, which is a homemade one. And I've uh, got Fox 30 pound carbo flex wire with two size 6 semi barbed drill and trebles. I'll show you the rig a bit closer up there. You see the two trebles, this is a crimped trace, and down to a swivel, it's about 18 20 inches long. And the knot I use is a, uh, a tucked half blood knot. So I'll just simply, not particularly in, in detail, I'll explain it. So you put the line through the swivel and then you wrap that tag end that you just put through the swivel round the main line. I like to do it seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that and then I'll tuck it through the loop that I've made through uh, uh, through turning it around the, uh, the main line through there and then the loop that, that has just been made because of that push the line back through there and just pull it half tight put a bit of saliva on that so it slides down nicely to the swivel and there you go that's a nice clean knot I'll just grab my scissors and uh, trim my tag end okay and then with your weight with the, uh, the sinker this one as I said is an 18 gram one that slides over the swivel like that that's not particularly well done but, um, I'm just trying to do it quickly so that would be slid right over the swivel so it's locked in position. So here's how the uh, the rig works. If you just imagine you're sort of on the lake bed and uh, I've cast out the float and uh, I want it to lay at first flat and then what I'll do is I'll tighten up to it here with my reel and basically the weight will be on the bottom with your tray spread out and the bait on the trace and the float will be cocked at an angle like that. If you can see that. If you imagine this is the 
surface of the water will be about here and then the line will be tight here to your to your weight and when the fish picks up the bait it will lift that and the float will lie flat on the surface so can you see that will do that again tight like that fish lifts the weight and it lies flat on the surface and then the fish will swim off and usually the float will uh, will go under the water and that's a great sensitive setup and uh, yeah, I really like using using the float it's a great visual visual way of, uh, of seeing the take and uh, well I've shown you the float rig and now I'm going to show you the ledger rig it's uh, a bit more simple to set up but it's just as just as effective in my opinion um, it generally suits longer range fishing whereas the float suits shorter range fishing and the only disadvantage with it is you need more gear on the bank you need like bank sticks, bite alarm, drop arm indicator, all that stuff whereas with the float you can you can just lay it on the ground as long as um, the, your spool can turn with the bait runner so that the pike can take line out when it uh, when it takes the bait just set up, it's a very similar set up again I'll have the three pound test cover rod but for the purposes of uh, filming inside I'm using this spinning one um, and then instead of the bait runner reel, I like to have a big pit type reel. This is a Shimano Beastmaster. And I've got that loaded up with 18 pound uh, line. I like to use a slightly stronger line on the ledger rod um, because you're casting out bit, uh, longer distances and generally slightly bigger baits. Oh, that's what I tend to do anyway. So, first what I do is I slide on a run ring. There you go. Close up of it. And Fox and Grays both sell these, and then I've just got a little clip on there, which which uh, I'll clip my lead to on in a minute. Then I slide on. It's called a buffer bead, and when you buy the run rings, you get buffer beads with them because um, they're for this setup basically. So I slide on the buffer bead with the uh, with the open end facing down the down the line, and then I get my trace. And uh, as with the float setup, I tie the uh, the um, tucked half blood knot. Okay, I've now tied on the trace, and with that buffer bead, which is why you need the open and facing down the line, you slide that over the swivel like that and then you'll bring the run ring down to meet it like that and then I've got a uh, a two ounce flat pair lead and I'll clip that onto the uh, onto the clip that's hanging off the run ring like so and that's pretty much the rig so I'll cast that out and it will lie on the bottom like that with the trace uh, splayed out and then you'll have the uh, line in the clip uh, on a drop arm indicator with your bail arm open and when the pike takes the bait the lead will stay put on the bottom and the pike will feel no resistance whatsoever that's a, a great thing about this rig whereas with the uh, with the float rig it's the pike is pulling the bait runner and 18 grams of uh, of weight as well. So with this, there's no resistance at all. That's why I use the uh, the rum ring, which is very, runs very smoothly along the line. So, thanks for watching this uh, this little video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope it's uh, given you a bit of an insight into how I do my pike fishing. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll uh, Jay and I'll be out fishing next weekend. So see you soon.